Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It is your host, the one and only one, Hennis. And today, guys, I'm going to bring you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto my channel. Now, today, guys, what you're going to be watching is actually my highest gun streak here within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I went on a 56 gun streak with a mix of the LCAR and the ICR, I believe. I was playing hardcore domination here on the map Stronghold, and I believe I was trying to go for headshot challenges, and maybe I was just trying to go for another camo challenge with the LCAR. And uh, so I ran out of ammo pretty quick here in this gameplay, and then I actually had to pick up an ICR. But I went on an absolute tear, guys. Guys, the uh, unstoppables that you guys will see towards the end of this first half and a little bit into the second half of this domination game come incredibly quick. I was not necessarily spawn trapping, but just really keeping a tight control over the C flag here. And I don't know what it is, guys, but the ICR is literally an insane weapon in this game. I would almost make the argument that this weapon may actually be better than the Razorback in Hardcore, which I know is a strong statement because the Razorback is loved by a lot of Hardcore players in Black Ops 3. But the ICR, I don't know if it's the accuracy or just the overall damage of this weapon in Hardcore. It, it's literally a beast. And and uh, the, the fact that these guys were just flying at me so fast and I was still able to get them all is pretty awesome. So I really hope you guys all will enjoy this extremely intense gameplay. If you guys do, be sure to go ahead and drop a like, guys. That would honestly mean the world to me. If we can go ahead and smash 100 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into today's commentary topic. So what we're going to talk about today, guys, is something that's really touchy here in the YouTube community. And for me personally, really touchy here in the Call of Duty YouTube community. Now, I know this is something that a lot of people really hate. And uh, so it's a little bit touchy to even bring it up, but I want you guys to please keep an open mind and try to listen to where I'm coming from, uh, from a content creator standpoint. And I'm gonna try to, you know, some of address your guys' concerns as well as viewers. So if you haven't figured it out already, what we're gonna talk about today is clickbait and you know, sort of misleading content on YouTube. Now, I, I, first of all, I wanna get it off my chest. I think people really mistake clickbait and misleading, and people will use those terms interchangeably when in fact they are not the same thing. All clickbait really is, is when I go ahead and create a video and put a title on it and make an attractive thumbnail that makes you wanna click on the video. You know, it's got an attractive title that, you know, maybe has a little bit of ambiguity in it that makes you think, hmm, I wonder what this guy's actually talking about or I wonder what this video is gonna have in it. And then so you click on it and you want to know more, right? And that's why that title is a little bit intriguing. And then that flashy thumbnail to go along with it, right? All it does is sort of provoke you to, to click on the video. Uh, but where I think clickbaiting goes wrong and where I think a lot of people get mixed up is when the clickbait becomes misleading. And for me, that's when uh, the Call of Duty community and when YouTube channels for me lose a bit of my respect. Um, when you mislead a title, when you lie directly in your title, uh, you lose respect from your viewers. And I know a lot of people will say that, oh, I do it to get views or I do it to get likes and I can do it to get subs. But I think what people are really thinking here is you're, you're taking the priority of money or status or subscribers or views over your own personal reputation. And this isn't something that I want to tarnish over here on my own personal channel. I will always be 100% true to you guys. The fact of the matter is though, some videos on my channel are going to be clickbait. You know, they are going to have a little bit of an ambiguous title in it. You know, I'm just gonna give you guys an example, something that uh, I know you guys will probably be able to relate to. When I say clickbait, you know, I may I may even title this video. This video may be t titled something like uh, the most insane gun streak in Black Ops 3. And that's gonna make you guys wanna actually go and click on this video. Now for me, it's the most insane gun streak in Black Ops 3, but that's not lying. I'm not lying to you guys, you know, or I'm, I may just title it like crazy gun streak in Black Ops 3. You know, if, you know, that's much more appealing to click on because you guys don't necessarily know the whole story. But if I just told you guys 56 gun streak Black Ops 3 PC nuclear, you guys wouldn't find that intriguing. You know, that's not, that doesn't pull at your attention at all. So uh, I'm going to be making more of an effort to try to make my videos a little bit more attractive for you guys, because I know like, for instance, my last video, when I uploaded uh, of me getting diamond snipers, or excuse me, diamond pistols, when I just titled the video Black Ops 3 Unlocking Diamond Pistols, you know, while that is a good video, and while I did put time and effort into editing that, and I thought it turned out to be pretty good, uh, that's not really intriguing for you guys. You know, I know some of you guys do really like my content, and a lot of you guys do, and I really do appreciate that. But the fact of the matter is, I know a lot of you guys who are new, and even some of my subscribers really don't care that I unlock diamond pistols. So I'm never gonna be misleading with you guys. I want I want that to be 100% clear right now. I am never going to have a title for one of my videos or a thumbnail that's going to be misleading in any way. If you look at a title and you look at my thumbnail, it, that is going to be what's inside the video. And I think, once again, that's where people get mixed up. They confuse the idea of clickbait with misleading, and those are not the same thing. Clickbait is when you look at something that's visually attractive that makes you wanna click on it. If the clickbait also becomes misleading, that's when I have issues. A video can be misleading, but not have clickbait, for example. I could just say, uh, but then again, when you think about it, a lot of things that are misleading do tend to be clickbait. If I just say, 
you know, oh my gosh, a nuke went off in my backyard or something like that. And then all I do is set off a, like a firecracker or something like that. You know, that's misleading. I told you in the title that, or a thumbnail that I was going to set up a nuke and instead all I gave you was a firecracker. You know, that's not, that's misleading. But you know, if I title the video something like explosion in my backyard, you know, that's not necessarily misleading, but you guys can see how this is sort of a slippery slope. So I just want you guys to know from me personally as a content creator, I'm going to be spending time when I clickbait a title or when I try to make a title more attractive, I'm going to be really paying attention to the wording of that title. And I'm gonna really make sure not to make it so it's lying or misleading to you guys at all. Because my reputation for me personally as a YouTube content creator, I do not want that to go away. I think I have a pretty good reputation right now as a YouTube content creator, and I do not wanna tarnish that. I don't wanna destroy that. So you guys can know for me personally that if you ever see a title over here on my channel or a thumbnail, it's going to be 100% related to the content of the video. Uh, and the reason I'm probably gonna be doing more clickbaiting is just because that's the way you people grow on YouTube right now, and it's unfortunate. But I want you guys to know, as my viewers, that I'm never, ever going to lie to you guys. And I think that's the most important thing. And I think that's what you guys really, really care about. Uh, if I do end up making a mistake and I do end up titling a video that you guys think is misleading, don't just say that the video is clickbait. Because clickbait in my eyes, and hopefully in your eyes now after I've just talked to you, isn't necessarily a bad thing. So if you see a video of mine, though, that is misleading, that you think that in that title or in that video or in that thumbnail, I lied to you, then let me know down in the comment section. And if I agree with you or if I disagree with you, I'll be sure to uh, leave a response to your uh, your comment down there in the comment section below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to go ahead and drop a like, guys. I really hope this uh, did shed some light for some of you guys. I know a ton of YouTubers have already kind of made videos on this, but I wanted to get my own personal opinion out there. And I really hope this kind of makes sense to you guys. And I, you can see where I'm coming as a YouTube content creator because I need to make my content attractive. I need you guys to find my videos attractive so you click on them. You know, if, if I title my video something boring, people aren't going to want to click on it. So I need to have a little bit of an attractiveness, but again, nothing is ever going to be misleading in any of my titles or thumbnails. So thank you very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, smack a like, like I said, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And if you guys did go ahead and watch to this point in the video, comment down below, hashtag potato. That'll let me know that you guys watch this entire video. Be sure to go ahead and check out the videos on screen now if you guys have not done so already. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.